Have you ever wondered how forensic anthropologists identify human remains or determine the story behind a set of bones? Let's look at the world of forensic anthropology, which is a subfield of biological anthropology that applies skeletal analysis to modern investigations. The very first question that forensic anthropologists have to address is, is it bone? Because Burned or fragmented materials like crumbled sheetrock after a fire can mimic bone. However, bones are very distinct. Bones consist of compact layers called cortical bone and spongy layers called trabecular bone, whereas materials like coconut shells or construction debris don't have that kind of dual structure. Once you confirm that the thing you're looking at is bone, the next step is determining, is it human? Human bones often differ in their morphology, which is the shape and form of the bones, compared to animal bones. For example, the compact layer of a human long bone is thinner, making it less dense than the thicker, heavier bones of many non-human mammals. So the size of a bone, its shape, its density can all help determine if a bone is human. Forensic anthropologists help law enforcement answer critical questions. They identify whether remains are modern or ancient, they estimate age at death, biological sex and height, and even reconstruct events around the time of death. These insights come primarily from skeletal analysis. So investigative methods like DNA or blood spatter analysis aren't things that forensic anthropologists do. Instead, forensic anthropologists do things like calculate the MNI, which stands for minimum number of individuals. They construct a biological profile, they determine biological sex, and they estimate age at death, all by looking at skeletal remains. One method used to determine age is observing the epiphyses, which are the ends of the long bones. In children and adolescents, the epiphyses are unfused. As individuals grow, these ends fuse to the bone shaft, offering clues about their age at death. The context of a discovery is equally important. The context refers to the relationship that the remains have to the immediate area in which they were found, which includes the specific location of the remains, soil or organic matter surrounding the remains, and any objects that are found in close proximity to the remains. This context helps determine whether remains are archaeological or forensic. For instance, Tooth fillings or modern clothing can point to recent origins. When remains are co-mingled, meaning that the skeletons aren't in separate burials, the minimum number of individuals is calculated. This ensures each individual is accounted for, particularly in cases of mass graves or disasters. By analyzing bones and their context, forensic anthropologists uncover vital information about the deceased and their stories. This expertise bridges the gap between science and justice, helping solve mysteries from the past and present.